good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be in the world. I would like to thank you for stopping by Healing Inner Child Wound Conversations with Z. I'm Zuri Bibi, or Rita as my friends know me. Um, my throat is a little off, and I don't know if it was because of uh, moon magic, the weather. I don't know, but my voice is off. But I can still talk, so that's what I'm going to do. And here I am, as soon as I turn on this camera, I start yawning. There's got to be something. Um, the other day when I did a reading, I was supposed to be given a message. And I forgot to do it. But I wrote it down. Because I don't know if I told you that I was watering my plants and everything yesterday, but in the evening, one of my solar, I have two, two solar butterflies. One is red and gold, and the other one is like a greenish, greenish, bluish gold. And the red one always acts like it doesn't want to stay lit. One of my solar butterflies won't stay on where the sun can recharge it, the solar panel, so it can glow in the dark. I have to always go out there and push the switch to make it where the sun can activate that panel. And that may have that has something to do with us. So it could be where you finally are getting on your on your path. And then something comes and cuts you, blocks you, shuts you down. So you can't receive the, the messages, the healing, the, the heat, the sun. So that you can glow in the dark. This is so funny, but it's TMI. As I was just saying that. My body was releasing some gas. So that's, that is a confirmation. Because a lot of you may hold, hold in your bodily functions. And because you're holding in your bodily functions, your body's not able to operate in the way it's supposed to. We're not supposed to hold gas in. Hmm. Not sure what that's about. But anyway, I've already prayed over the cars. I've already asked for protection. I do notice, see, that I have new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's very much appreciated. We talk about a lot of stuff here, so... There's no judgment. You can say whatever you want um, as long as it's respectful. Um, I think that's it. I'm going to, um, this was from yesterday. I, yeah, yesterday, I didn't tell you why. I went in, I went to the um, chiropractor yesterday. And that might be why my body is acting weird too. But I went to the, chi I went to the chiropractor and I had some work done. And I could tell right away that my body was functioning better. But that was just after one visit. Um, but that's another message somebody. Somebody needs to go to the needs to check on your body. Um, I have a lot of cars out here. I'm not sure how long this reading is going to be. Um, I probably should, um, after yesterday I took my spiritual bath. Um, but I, I did sleep good. Part of it was because of the chiro, you know, the work, energy healing work I had done in my body. Um, and actually, during the day, my body functioned better. Um, I'm shuffling this deck because I didn't shuffle it before. But I'm going to do a pre-reading just to kind of see 
where the energy is um, prior to the reading while I was taking my notes, writing my notes down. Um, the name Gloria came to me. Came. Now, I don't know a Gloria. I don't know what that's about. But yeah. The name Gloria came up. Also, this morning I was I overslept this morning. But not where I was late for work, but while I was a while I was right before I woke up, I dreamt about this baby jumping in the water and I kept going in to get it. And then I had a dream. It was like the dream skipped. Uh, I went to this office where I, it was a lot going on, but after that, I went into an office and there was a lot of ladies in there. And as soon as I walked in, they stopped talking and then they started leaving. That wasn't the, you know, I woke up right after that. But what was interesting was when I got to work, there were a lot of ladies in an uh, area of the building. And I could hear them laughing and joking and all that. And as soon as I had, I had to go over that way. I went over that way. They, they were leaving. But what made it interesting was yesterday, a co-worker texted me asking me if I would take their shift, which was a late shift. I wouldn't be here now if I, would, if I had taken it. And I told her no. But I come in at 10 in the morning and she's there with those ladies. So there is something going on. You know, I don't... There are things being done that they don't want you to know. But you're going to find out anyway. And I really didn't care about the meeting. That wasn't the thing. It was the lie. Lie stating that they needed to go to school. I mean, they... They had to go to school, but they were talking. They had that meeting. I, I'll say it that way. It was a hidden motive. I, I'll leave it at that. There was a hidden motive. So, yeah, it was a lot going on. Let's see what this pre reading is about. This pre message. Ten of Wands. Something about carrying a burden or really, oh, releasing a burden. Okay. Work. Eight of Wands. Two eights. Nine, eight, ten, eight, eight. Injustice. There's going to be some kind of justice coming to old. Oh, Empress on the bottom. There's there's some type of um. Somebody's doing the work to release a burden. Because this person's carrying, they're carrying the burden and they're carrying it toward the work. So they're walking to, they're learning, they're trying to release, working on releasing a burden. Because they're coming down a hill. They're not going up the path. They're coming down the path. And they're getting messages. And the, the proof is in that verb. I'm bringing a message. There is a message coming. And whatever that message is, she's going to be able to shank somebody. She's protected. 
whatever it is is going to bring justice I'm going to keep the Empress out I'll pull one more and then we'll keep going I mean I'll clarify Queen of Cups is releasing the burden Queen of Cups is healing Judgment is on the bottom. What is the Eight of Pentacles? Will of Fortune. You are creating your Will of Fortune. Blood, sweat, and tears. It's been a lot of work, a lot of investment. Somebody don't like it though. Um, the message is not a pentacles. This has been a long time coming. And he got wheels and he's still slow. The other ones have horses. He can go a little faster. the emperor stars on the bottom and there's a magician trying to peek out there's a cycle ending it's a cycle ending for a star it's ending for an empress this empress and um you're taking control of your life. There's an empress releasing the burden, doing the healing work, moving to clear waters. This empress is dealing with emotional issues because it's the queen of cups. And I say that because it's only one little drop Coming out of that cup. She is careful with her emotions. And so that means that she's not wasting no more. She ain't giving no more. Whatever. Truth. Okay. So that's something for someone. interesting and this is what I want to talk about here's this moon magic again for a moon yesterday a lot of you probably have been writing petitions taking spiritual baths doing whatever it is you need to do and from my understanding yesterday was a blue moon because it was two moons in the month of August you've been releasing something every card I'm going to show you with the moon in it you're healing there's a moon there investing in yourself there's a moon there working there's a moon there this pentacle there's a moon there There's a moon there in the cycle. In Dina cycle. And high priestess. Oh, Emperor, he got one too. No, that's no. She's under the moon too. That's why I say you're healing. I could almost stop the reading and keep on keep it ended there. Um What I'm going to talk about is the truth. And what's underneath it is another moon. Another moon. You've put to rest some things that caused heartbreak. And 
and that probably damn okay it probably talks about your childhood because there's a moon there and this is a family this is ten of pentacles so a lot of stuff was probably you you held the burden you see how they playing chess on this child's back so this could be you that's how they kept the facade going on off of you let me get out of that okay let's move it up the way so that's pretty much giving you an idea of what you're dealing with um That's not what I came on here for. Well, it did. I don't know what message is going to come up. It's a child. Somebody's doing inner child work. Uh, it's a letter. That was in the pre-reading. Magnifying glass. You got to look at something really, really, really carefully. And this could be somebody sneaky or this could be you. On the bottom is a labyrinth, is a maze. So there is something. This could be a continuation of the first reading. Let's see. What's going on with this child? The music I'm playing in the background is solar plexus chakra hill music. Can I have a message on this child? Wow. Okay, two cars came out. But I want to say something. You see how... Um, let me read it. Well, I can't read it, but you see how there's a dial and all this abundance here. And I showed you that other card. Let me find it. I didn't shuffle it, thankfully. Where is it at? disappear because I saw you. It's like it's oh there it is. I was going to say you can't disappear because I saw you. You see this child underneath here? Got the dial. And all this abundance here is all this abundance here. This, this is like a, this is like a mirror effect. Because they're dark and dreary. And this is very colorful. There's something about that. Hmm. But anyway. There's something ending. It's a lover. Decision, a lover. There's something ending in a relationship. Whatever, whatever um, inner child work you're doing, you're ending something. A lot of you, I said, y'all probably wrote your petitions. I was trying not to get into that. I was trying not to say it. But yesterday will be the day for you to write those petitions. What is it with this petition? Yeah, somebody wrote 
wrote a petition about some work somebody was doing to them. Either a mature man wrote the letter or the letter was written about a mature man doing the work. And because of that, there is something being looked at closely. There it is. There is a woman being looked at closely. Mm. And in the background you hear the Archangel Michael. Somebody's thinking about this woman. But this other woman is being looked at closely. I don't know. Because there's something sneaky, shysty going on. Slippery like a fox. And that car fell on the floor. Hopefully it is upright. It's a man. I don't know if this is a shapeshifter or if it's a couple. Because something's ending. A mature man. There's a journey. Somebody's on a journey. Six is healing. One is manifesting. Working is emperor and empress energy. I mean, occupation. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, but I do know. I do know that there's somebody's doing this healing work. And it's causing the ending. Can't get away from it. Here's the moon. A relationship is ending under the moon cycle. Wow. Can't make it up. Nope. Can't. No new beginning. I'm, I'm keeping it. It's in reverse. You'll see the other cards are upright. That's an upright card. That's a reverse card. No new beginning. No new beginning for someone because of some moon magic in it. Somebody's remembering. They're doing their healing work. There's something. You're beginning to understand energy. And what kind of work were they doing? Has something to do with traditions. This is the higher fan. And it was three of them. Three of Cups. And a King of Presence. Pentacle. So one, two. I don't see the third person yet. Oh, right here. Main, mature woman. Main male. The Hierophant. Hierophant. And the King of Pentacles. I'm not sure if you this. I don't know who you are yet. Mature woman. Okay. Oh, you're the mature woman. You're ending the cycle. So this is you. You could be in your masculine energy. This is, uh, and this is a lot of sacral energy. King of Wands. Somebody is claiming their power back.
one, two, three. Main mail. Eight of candles is eight of wands. He's getting a message. He's trying to hold on. The main male right now is, is sneaky. This mature woman is ending a cycle. Somebody's doing this inner work, and I believe it's the old mature woman. What's left on the bottom, Ace of Candles, Ace of Wands. This, this main male wants to come back because of this new passionate beginning. But there is a maze here. There's a maze here, a labyrinth that people are on. And it's, as you can tell, you see a woman, a man, another woman, and there's somebody in the center. So, she could be there waiting on him, but she trying to get there before him, and she trying to catch up with him. So they can get with her. Everybody's trying to figure out what he's doing. Do you have anything to add to this? these kids it's kind of late now these kids are outside you are one you are the one I think I put this card on my channel maybe once or twice but I've never pulled it out as the first card you are the one you're authentic you the real deal. King of Swords. This a King of Swords knows that you are the one, but you also could be in this King of Swords energy, whereas you're not taking any mess. Wow, King of Wands. taking action. You're gaining clarity, your mental prowess, and you're confident in direct taking directions, making decisions. There's going to be some type of celebration. Reunion. And it could be you getting back into union with yourself. I'll pull one more. Celebrating because you about to get a new beginning here on the earthly plane. There is something here on earth that you are, are beginning anew. I don't know what it is, but you're getting a new start. You are the person. You're almost... You're halfway there to becoming an emperor, taking, you're almost there taking control of your life. Interesting. What do the um, divas have to say? I was not expecting this. Gain clarity. I've gave gave a lot of synopsis, a lot of situations. Clarity on which one is yours. 
and have joy. Be in a joyful energy. A lot of you are going through a spiritual awakening. Take action. I've already said that once before. Take When you get that clarity, that's going to let you know when you need to take action. Emotional healing. I talked about that. You're healing yourself. You are a healer. I've said that before too. Put a few of these. Thoughts create your reality. Be careful about that. Get clear on what you want. Abundance is your right. It's your birthright. Feel joy in all you do. This spiritual awakening, you should be excited. Sometimes it's kind of weird, though. I know when I... Well, that, that would, I don't want to talk that long. Choose love over fear. Take action to do that. I still wonder if I want to know what did I do for my my angel to come down to see me I'll never forget that day I'll never forget it express your feelings that's where that's when you are healing your emotions you can do that Forgive yourself. You can't... Whatever is going on or has happened, has happened. All you can do is heal it and move forward. Patience is a virtue. I kept it because it was sticking out. And I know they wanted it. Let go of your ego. Don't let your ego come in and take over. I only want one of these... And then we're going to shut it down. Oh, I got something else. No, it's too many. I only want one. Luck. Where's the book? Luck itself is cloaked with mystery and superstition. Sometimes we think the only luck we have is bad luck. And when someone gets a lucky break, their success is attributed to chance rather than all their hard work leading up to that point. The truth about luck is that we must be ready for it when it happens. Be open to unplanned situations and experiences that may become fortuitous occasions. Being in the right place at the right time often comes from planting the seeds that led you there and being ready to seize an opportunity when it comes. Luck is showing its face here to tell you to be more open and to listen for anything that may be nudging you in the direction of your dreams. Be vigilant, be ready, and keep planting. What situations can I create to attract luck? You got to be in high vibration energy. And it's interesting because this uh, little uh, 
creature. I want to call it a um, dragon, little mini dragon. It's orange, sacral, and yellow, confidence, solar plexus. Need to be in that energy. What spirit animals helping you? Rabbit. Looks like that's earth energy. <laughs> oh my god stop it afraid of everything overwhelmed and frozen y'all need to get out of this energy and this could be someone projecting that onto you the rabbit loves to remind his friends that someday the eagle will swoop down and eat him he talks and talks and talks about it so loudly in fact that one day the eagle hears and thanks him for the great idea Rabbit energy is alive when we are scared, most often about the future, and we become our own worst enemy. We spin up a dust cloud of fear and then complain to others that we are lost. Notice your thoughts and words. Oh, rabbit, they shape your destiny. You speak, where did I? Your thoughts create your reality. Somebody's projecting that onto you. When you're in balance, you're sensitive, you're a problem solver, and you're a good listener. But when you're out of balance, you over-explain and you talk fast. When you want to bring it into balance, you need to have a day of silence. Don't talk about nothing. Don't talk to nobody. Don't answer your phone. Just shut it down. On the bottom is air energy, the butterfly. Understanding great change and transformation. That's where you need to go. The energy of the butterfly is with us during periods of transition. Since air is the element of the heart, this change usually involves relationships or if you love your job, perhaps your career. Since transition is accompanied by some amount of discomfort, be extra patient and kind during this time, especially if the butterfly is you. Let solid friends and activities support you like a cocoon, committing to one daily routine, a meal, practice, or prayer. Uh, then at the same time, then at the same place and time, we'll do wonders for lifting a butterfly spirit so this is where you need to be to get um get back in balance cheerful and when in balance you're cheerful and graceful when you're out of balance you're fragile and frustrated to bring into balance you need a daily routine well we already know that you've been working because the eight of pentacle card has come up so keep doing the work do not you need to deflect this um deflect this energy that's being sent your way on the earthly plane um this is the end of the reading it's uh, a lot <sighs> a lot has been said you got options on how you you know what's going on in your life Thank you, because I wasn't going to put the cards down. Enjoyment. Striving and pushing makes life into more into endless hard work. The more you're inviting love to take over, the more enjoyment comes. Allow me to enjoy this life, dear Lord. This is where you need to be. 
not in no t not in no no type of um negative energy when you get this pentacle when you get this pentacle you're gonna enjoy it. it's gonna allow take a lot of a lot off of you it's gonna release a burden oh it was in the other deck keep doing the inner child work I'm going to leave it for now. You all take care. Thank you for stopping healing in the child wound conversations with Z. Peace.